to the stage. Slatrop Sally, Stevia Man, and Crystal K. Yes, cheers, please. Yes. When you hear weird drag names, you cheer. Now, this is the tough portion of the evening because I am going to say, unfortunately, you three are the lowest placing of the week. So, we will go to the judges for our critique for a better understanding of why you're here. Thank you so much. So, first of all, I would like to commend that both all of you has pushed yourself out of your comfort zones. I can definitely see that. I've been trying something new, and some of, them, some of you are very young, so it's your first time maybe being on stage and trying something new. Um, I would say for punk and the kind of category, the, I would say look at history more and see just little bits and bobs that were really iconic for that era. And for the talent portion, stuff like milking it as much as possible, like um, characterization, add a little bit of comedy in here and there if you're not comfortable with uh, one element of your talent. Add more than you think and connect to us more. We want to enjoy what you're serving and we want to eat it all up. So that kind of stuff, Jimmy, but if it's your first time trying something, it's always a risk and a gamble, so I commend you for that, definitely. Yeah. that all I was looking for was a bit more connection. And I think that is something that you can work on for, for future challenges, that connect more with the audience, make eye contact. I know it's quite nerve wracking, they're a scary bunch out here, but just make eye contact and engage more because as Tom was saying, it's cabaret, it's about the engagement. Your number was beautiful. I would have loved to have seen, a bit like Loki, to connect more with the song, walk out, touch people's hands, and just really like emote with the song. Um, with your look, if we're going to be honest, I don't know if this is punk rock. Honestly, I, I, I think like Bar Cup gave us a pink punk rock, I think it needs a bit more of a rough edge, it needed like some, I don't know, some safety pins, and it needed a bit more, a bit more rough. Um, but I commend you for, for the effort put in, I think it's gorgeous, and you look amazing tonight, so well done. Um, so I would say, you are still fabulous, but I would say for next time, focus on the eye contact, the engagement, and just like committing more to everything you do in the performance. Um, okay, well done though. For Stelia, can we get a cheer for Stelia? Now, week one, we asked you to bring Stelia and you fucking brought it this week, so well done. You, you gave us some golf lesk and I was very much here for it. And I think, just like Tom was saying there, I think there's a few areas that weren't quite tightened up, a few um, bits didn't come off cleanly, and tonight was a fucking tight show. Everyone did so well, everyone was so clean, so those things do stand out, unfortunately. So if you're going to do burlesque again, by all means, just like tighten up those small bits, practice, rehearse. What is wrong way? It's very you, it's fabulous, it is punk rock, um, so I love this look, and I fucking love this big bitch thing, it's incredible. You will get to for Delia, yes. And finally, Crystal. Yes! You've, you've got a lot of fans, I can't wait for the meal. I, I thought you had great confidence in your number. I don't know if it was the best song choice, personally. Um, I think Adele set some pretty high fucking standards for that song, so it was tough. Um, but I think you committed to it, and I think... It's just tough when there were so, so many incredible vocalists in this show. I don't know if it stood out, en en stood out enough, unfortunately. But on the run, you look incredible, you look gorgeous, you look stunning. So well done, sweetheart. Well done. fantastic tonight. What we're saying is there are all these little nuggets, little opportunities to take your performance over the edge. Sally, with your singing, your voice is phenomenal. That's undisputable. All we were looking for was A, the connection, and B, get us involved in it. See, on that key change, you motherfucking walk forward and you tell us. And still I dream he'll come to me. That's how you tell us. More importantly than that, Stella, exactly with yours, it's with the burlesque. The missed opportunity was milking it even more. We saw you were having fun. Let us have as much fun as possible. Drag that out and be like, no, I'm 
not taken off just yet. You're going to have to wait more. It's that melting of the opportunity. And with Crystal, my favourite part of your performances was hearing your story and hearing you speak on the mic. I wish that you had literally done that for the entire song. I wish you'd done poetry because hearing you speak on the mic was like, that is so sweet. Where is the boyfriend? I want to see. Boyfriend, you have a talented person, so make sure that you treat them fucking right. Make sure that's all for you, my first time. It's well done. It falls on me to announce a difficult task of who will be in the bottom two. And remember, Malta was a colony for 200 years, so if you say shit about me online, you're racist, okay? <laughs> just a reminder, just a reminder. Here we go, so, unfortunately, the two people lip-syncing tonight are Stelia Man and Crystal K. That means Slut up, you are safe. You will be back next week. In the meantime, massive cheer for everyone to keep the going and ready for the next day. Give them a massive cheer. Thank you so much. We'll see you very, very soon. And make sure you're ready to scream while they are performing. In the meantime,